Si Lef, story by Ogi Rivera, illustrated by Beth Paroca, Doc Tolero. Space Station Pollux 2000, this is Captain X, an asteroid cluster is zooming in, over. It's about to hit the planet Extimus, over. I'll do my best to stop it, over and out, ha! By the power of my laser sword, I will blast these pesky asteroids to smithereens. Suddenly, the whole class roared with laughter. My laser sword turned into an eraser. And the asteroids? They became letters on the blackboard. Ariola! Why did you erase it? Your classmates haven't finished copying the notes, shouted Mom Venus. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I thought they were asteroids. Asteroids? Which planet is your brain flying to again? Off to the corner! Now! shrieked Mom Venus, whom I just noticed has six toes on her right foot. <laughs> One time in a reading class, as Mom Venus was about to call somebody to read in front of the class, I didn't raise my hand. Instead, I dropped my pencil on the floor, so I would have an excuse to bend down and hide. Who would have thought that Mom Venus had an extra eye on her left knee? Why, she still saw me and called out my name. As I opened the book, the letters started moving. They flew, hovered, darted, and glided around the pages of the book. And no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't read them. Su the wagical abarna derb bird flam to plegza saplats. The class burst into laughter. <laughs> they said I read and sounded like an alien. Mom Venus called for my mom and dad. She told them that I needed to get a checkup. I may be sick or something. In our class, I was the only one who couldn't read. What? But my son is a smart kid, Mom argued. He studies hard. And he's a computer whiz, just like me, Dad boasted. Maybe you teach too fast? Still, mom and dad took me to the experts. That's what mom Venus called them for the checkup. They asked me a lot of questions. And they made me answer a lot of tests. They even checked my eyes. They studied me like I was some kind of rat in the laboratory. After the long explanation of the experts, which I didn't quite understand, they set me free. Mom and dad told me I wasn't sick. And my eyes were perfectly normal, too. But they also said that I needed a tutor to help me learn how to read. Since then, my tutor would come to our house after school to help me learn how to read. Her name is Miss Maya. She's tall, has short hair, has long fingers and pointy ears. At first, I thought she was an alien. <coughs> She seemed to carry an entire library inside her backpack because she never ran out of books. Every day we had lots of reading exercises like D-O-G, the dog, God, good. I had to listen to her carefully and pronounce the sound of each letter. When I put all the sounds together, I could read the word. It was hard to do that over and over again. But Miss Maya never got tired. She never stopped smiling. 
You know, there's a secret on how to stop the letters from flying off the book. Miss Maya told me to use my forefinger whenever I read. So I tried it. And it worked! The letters couldn't move as I pointed at them while reading. I guess my forefinger's heavier than all of the letters. One afternoon, Miss Maya saw me wearing a mask. I wondered why she wasn't surprised. She just put her books down and approached me. Power Ranger, do we have a problem? I told her what happened in the bus. We played Missing Word. It was the favorite game of all the school bus children. Pretend the word stop is missing. Everyone searches and points at the word stop in posters, billboards, and signboards along the road. Those who can find and shout the most numbers of stops win the game. And since I had a hard time reading, I always lost. You're so dumb, shouted Dexter. Stupid, agreed Mox. Alien alert, alien alert, mocked Tanke. Before I knew it, my arm stretched and smacked right into the faces of the three bullies. I bet they saw some stars. Miss Maya removed my mask, and she found out what I was hiding from her, my swollen black left eye. Are you a Power Ranger or a pirate? she said, and we both laughed. <laughs> Miss Maya assured me that I am not dumb, neither am I stupid, and I'm not an alien. There are kids like me who are different, who have a different way of learning how to do things like reading. I just have to discover the best way for me to learn how to read. Did Miss Maya mean that Dexter was just as different? Because he still doesn't know how to ride a bike. Or Max, who's terrible at computer games. How about Tanke, who just can't learn how to whistle? Every night, Mom would read me a book before going to sleep. She was surprised when I told her, Mom, let's both read the book. I'll read a page and then you'll read the next one. Carefully, I read every word from each page with the help of my forefinger. When it was Mom's turn to read, I'd follow her forefinger too. We are both happy when we finished reading the whole book. When mom turned the lights off, I was surprised to see a cluster of stars glowing in the ceiling. The roof's been ripped off! Oops, they're just plastic stars, the glow-in-the-dark kind. I bet dad put them up there. At last, I have my own galaxy. I stared at the stars. There were big stars, small stars, skinny stars fat stars. But wait, the stars seem to be forming some letters. Wow! I could even read the word. It's my name! Felix! What is dyslexia? Dyslexia. Dyslexia is a learning difficulty characterized by problem in one or more of the following areas of written or spoken language. Reading, writing, spelling, handwriting, and sometimes even math. Dyslexia is not the result of visual impairment, low intelligence, lack of motivation, inadequate teaching, cultural differences, poor environmental opportunities or other limiting conditions. It is a neurological condition. It has to do with how the brain recognizes and interprets what it sees and hears. Dyslexics learn and process information differently. Dyslexia is a congenital and a lifelong condition. It may be genetic. It is not a disease, so there is no cure. Dyslexia can be overcome with appropriate help from parents, teachers, and tutors. Careful assessment, specialized teaching, and unwavering support and encouragement at home are essential to help the dyslexic child do well in school. Hi, 
If you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.